Hello, it's Miss Keene. I'm going to talk about multiplication and division of scientific notation today. All right, just um, something that's very important to remember, actually three things that are very important to remember. Scientific notation, the definition of it, um, it's a times 10 to the nth. The a is the coefficient, and that has to be a number at least 1 and less than 10. It's always times 10, and then n is the exponent, and that tells you how many places to move the decimal. The other two things that are important to remember, multiplying exponents when the bases are the same, keep the base the same, and add the exponents. And I have an example there for you. 10 to the second times 10 to the third. That means 10 to the 2 plus 3, which is equal to two, 10 to the fifth. In dividing exponents when the bases are the same, you're going to keep the base the same and subtract the exponents. And the, you can see the example there. 10 to the second divided by 10 to the third. You would subtract those exponents to get 10 to the negative first power. So when we're multiplying two terms that are in that are in scientific notation, we have an example here: two times ten to the fifth multiplied by four times ten to the fourth. So what you want to do first is you're going to take both of those coefficients, the two and the four, and you're going to multiply them together. And then you're going to take the 10 to the 5th power and 10 to the 4th power and group those together. So 2 times 4 gives us 8. And then when we have the same base that we're multiplying, we keep the base of 10 and we add those exponents. So the solution to this would be 8 times 10 to the 9th. We multiplied those two coefficients. 2 and 4, and we added the exponents to get 10 to the 9th. Here's another example. 6 times 10 to the 3rd multiplied by negative 1 times 10 to the 2nd. Now again, we're going to multiply those coefficients, and we're going to add the exponents. So it looks like this. Six times negative one, and then we multiply that by ten to the third times ten to the second. Six times negative one is negative six. Ten to the third times ten to the second is equal to ten with an exponent of three plus two. So our final solution would be negative six times ten to the fifth. So just to recap what you're doing is you're taking these two coefficients, multiplying them together, and that's how I got negative 6. Then you're taking these two exponents, and 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth is, I'm sorry, 10 to the third times 10 to the second is equal to 10 to the fifth. So here's another example. It's a little bit different, but we'll get into that. So here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply our coefficients, and we're going to add these exponents. So let's take a look at what that, what that looks like. So 8 times 10, I mean 8 times 2, and then 10 to the 4th times 10 to the negative 2nd. Well, 8 times 2, I get 16. And then I'm going to add those exponents, 10 to the 4th plus negative 2. So far, so good. Now here's, here's where our tricky part comes in. So when we simplify that, it comes down to 16 times 10 to the 2nd. Well, 16 times 10 to the 2nd is not in proper scientific notation. If you remember back, uh, the coefficient, the a part of the formula, has to be less than 10, and 16 is more than 10. 
So when that happens, we have to do a little adjustment. So right now in a whole number, the decimal is at the end after the six. We want to move that decimal one place to the left to make it 1.6 times 10. And because I moved the decimal to the left and I made the number smaller, I want to add one exponent. So that's how I ended up with 1.6 times 10. 2 was my original exponent. I need to add one place to the um, exponent. And my final answer is 1.6 times 10 to the third. So I had 16 times 10 to the second. 16 is not in proper scientific notation. So I needed to move that decimal one place to the left. When I move the decimal one place to the left, I need to add a place on the exponent. And that's how I ended up with an exponent of three instead of two. Let's try another one. So here we have seven times 10 to the fifth multiplied by three times 10 to the ninth. So you're gonna take and multiply your coefficients, and you're going to add your exponents. And when you do that, you come up with 21 times 10 to the 14th. But again, that's not in proper scientific notation. 21 is more than 10, so it doesn't fit the rules of scientific notation. So I need to do some sort of adjustment here to put it into final scientific notation. So I can't have 21, but I can move the decimal one place to the left and add a, an exponent. And that gives me 2.1 times 10 to the 15th. So when I move the decimal to make 21 into 2.1, I'm making it a smaller number when I make it a smaller number, that coefficient, then I have to add one digit to the exponent. Now division, if we remember our division rules, um, on division, when you have the same bases, you're going to subtract the exponents. So it's very similar to what we were just doing with multiplication. However, you're going to divide these two coefficients and you're going to subtract these two exponents. So let's see how that works. It's 4 divided by 2. This is where I get the 4 from. That's where I got the 2 from. And then 10 to the 5th power divided by 10 to the 4th power. So I just keep simplifying this. 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now the format is still times 10 because that never changes on scientific notation. It's not divided by 10, it's two times 10. And I get the exponent from 5 minus 4 because those are my two exponents and I need to subtract them. So my final answer is 2 times 10 to the first. That is in scientific notation, so I'm good to go on this one. Let's take a look at another one. 6 times 10 to the third divided by negative 2 times 10 to the fifth. We're going to divide the coefficients and subtract the exponents. So I'm going to divide 6 divided by negative 2. Those are my two coefficients. And then I'm going to subtract my exponents, 10 to the third divided by 10 to the fifth. And I end up with negative 3, because that's 6 divided by negative 2, times 10. Remember, scientific notation always has times 10. 
and I got the negative 2 from subtracting 3 minus 5 is negative 2. All right, now here's an example where it gets a little trickier. The process is still the same. It's just on this one, you're going to have that one extra step to put it into scientific notation. So we have our coefficients 4 and 8. So I'm going to divide them. 4 divided by 8, and then 10 to the 4th divided by 10 to the 2nd. 4 divided by 8 is 1 half. and then 10 um, in the exponent of 4 minus 2. So I have 1 half times 10 to the second power. That is not proper scientific notation because the rule for scientific notation says that the coefficient must be between 1 and less than 10, and 0.5 is less than 1. So, I need to do an adjustment. I need to make 0.5 a bigger number. So see, I'm moving one decimal to the left hand, um, to the right hand side. And when I move one decimal to the right, I need to subtract from my exponent. So 0.5 becomes 5, and 10 to the second, I subtract one. Um, exponent from there, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So my final answer for this problem is 5 times 10 to the first. All right, last example. Same type of problem. It's a division problem, so we're going to divide those coefficients and subtract the exponents. 1 divided by 4 is my coefficients, and then my exponents are 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 8th. 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25, and 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 8th. Bases are the same, so I subtract the exponents. So I get an exponent of 10 to the negative third. 0 0.25 is less than 1, so this is that adjustment that we have to do to put it into proper scientific notation. So I'm going to move my decimal. I'm going to make 0.25 a bigger number. When I make it a bigger number, I move the decimal to the right of the coefficient, and I subtract from the exponent. So I move the decimal to the right to get 2.5 for my coefficient. It's always times 10. And negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So my final solution for this one is 2.5 times 10 to the negative fourth.